happy Monday. And yeah, it's day 60 something in the Big Brother house or is it day 70? I don't keep up with the dates. I don't have to. You know why? Because I'm not going to be quizzed on it. But this will be pretty brief, but a little bit of housekeeping. Because this is a business and we're in the business of being in business and we're doing business. And nobody's business. Do it. Like and subscribe the video and thank you for all the new subscribers. I much appreciate it. And thank you for everybody who continues to engage in the comments. It really helps me out and it really, you know, lets me get to know you. I want to get to know you. What does that mean, Keith? That means I don't know you. But I want to address one commenter. One commenter said that I don't know that I can't make up my damn mind. You know what, you know what, you know what? <laughs> you know what, you know mm -mm. Hmm, you know what? <laughs> on some things. Well, here's the thing. I got no dog in that race. Okay, and there's no one, I said this early on, to really root for. The only person that I would really root for is Felicia, and that's because she's older and she's the funniest one in the house, the most entertaining. Stop all the crying, get your big girl pants on and play yeah. But as far as her game strategically, she's not playing a great game. This person says, I prefer, you know, one minute I'm like, oh, Corey. The next minute I'm like, Kim. Well, honestly, they both can go. But if I had my druthers, I would go for Corey to split up Corey in America. Showmances need to be split up. Oh, his ass up with a 30. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. But then... If it, there were an option, I would get rid of Jag because he's annoying and he wants to strong, strong arm everybody to, you know, being the leader. But it seems as though now who's going to leave this week? As of now, it seems though, as though it's Cameron because, you know, as we know, Jag won the veto and today is the power of veto ceremony. So we really don't know which way it's going to go. But Bowie Jane pretty much eluded to Cam that it's going to be him. No, I mean, it doesn't, whoever I put up, I'm fucked, so, you know, it is what it is. Okay. And it, it's been the, you know, you get head of house and you get kicked out the next week. And Cam knows it's going to be him. Hopefully it's going to be Cam. That'll get rid of the, the strongest player in the house and then it'll kind of even out the playing field, so to speak. Because then it'll give everybody else a chance to see if they can really play. So, it's fun. It's tough. And, you know, like, it's just part of the game. It's only a game. Like, it's only a game. Did it feel good being blindsided? Now, here's the funny thing from last night's show. You know, all along we see Bowie Jane just kind of skating by being, you know, paint on the wall being furniture in the house, just kind of there, someone that you kind of forgot was there. But we see in her DRs that she actually, there's a rhyme or reason to her behavior in the house. Like she was just trying to lay low and she was trying to hide the fact that she's an attorney. But is that helpful or harmful to Bowie Jane? Like now this is the first week ever that people are talking to her. Why? Because she's head of household and they have to. They're really talking game with her. And someone who she kind of considered as an ally in the house, Cam, she's going to have to put him up. And, but she's like, you know, Cam is concerned that he's being blindsided. But her whole point is, how can you be blindsided when I'm telling you about it? You're not being blindsided. Did We're literally that discussing that? it right now. I know. I know. This Red did not. I know that discussion. you don't believe that this is going to no, happen. No, but Red didn't get a discussion. But I do. He has no personality. He has no nothing. He doesn't draw people to him. The only thing he has is the ability to win competitions. Believes that this is going to happen to me. Yeah, but R Red didn't get a discussion. I know. Well, that's what um, I'm talking so about. So it's a bit now. different. Yeah. yeah. This we are we got it. we got blindsided. Is what I'm saying. We got blindsided by that. Yeah, but I don't see this as a blindsided at all. With the, when there's a discussion about. So it. if I walk out Thursday, how are you going to feel? Well, I'm going to say this is going to probably happen every bloody week is what I'm going to think. I see. This is Big Brother. It's like a mess. I it's see. a hardcore mess. I understand. I understand now. Oh, no, she didn't. I'm like, yeah, Kim, you're not being blindsided because they're telling you. 
that you are possibly going up. Because I know there's a rule that you can't directly say it. Oh, yeah, you're going up. But um, Bowie Jane has kind of broken that because she basically told Felicia that she was going up. And what happened? Felicia went up. But, um, yeah. So drop into the comments and tell me what you thought about this particular um, interaction between Cam and Bowie Jane. And look at Jag just th sitting there all smug like he's running things. Jag really thinks he's running things. He thinks he's an influential strength in the house. He has no personality. He has no nothing. He just because you can talk and talk in circles and then finally convince people to believe you, then that doesn't mean that you're influential. It just means you just wore people down. Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> so there's a difference between being an influence and just wearing people down. Like a little kid can beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and convince you and finally say, oh, here, take it. Or here, you can go. You can have it. And that's what Jag is. He's like the toddler who's begging. Anyhow, drop into the comments and like and subscribe.